my name is Alice Jepson. I'm one of the owners here at Awesome Relaxation. This is my friend Abby, and she's going to help me teach you today about the red light therapy with blue belt therapy. Lots of therapies going on <laughs> there. We like to multitask because it uses your time wisely. So here at Awesome, we have an incredible cleaning system to really ensure that we're killing not only COVID, but all the other things that you can have going on. I always take a towel with me to all of the other pieces of equipment. Um, I do wipe down any handles or knobs here on this piece of equipment. I'll wipe down the blue belt machine. I'll wipe down the red light therapy switch. But in addition to that, I always bring a couple of blankets with me. I tend to get cold, so I like one on top of me. But on this therapy suite and a couple of others, I like to have one underneath me. So I'm gonna lay this out really quick while Abby explains to us a little bit more about red light therapy. Perfect, so red light therapy is super awesome. I try to use it every time that I come in to use equipment myself. Um, red light therapy, is used by the astronauts up in space. It helps with the healing process. It helps speeds it up. So anything with your skin, it's really gonna help. If you've got burns, it helps burns heal really quickly. I myself have burned myself, came here, used this for 20 seconds or 20 minutes. By the end of the session, I had full, mo full mobility back into my finger. It helps with acne. So if people that are struggling with acne, this is really good for it. Yeah. Um, inflammation as well, the red light helps um, decrease the inflammation in your body and it helps with pain too, especially if you've got that inflammation that's causing the pain. So really amazing uses for red light therapy. That is absolutely incredible. We actually brought it in because it helps with radiation burns from cancer, because that's where all of this came yes. from, was wanting to help people with that. So let's um, show them about yes. how to turn on this therapy. Now we're mic'd up today, so uh, because of that, I don't want to lay on the blue belt. Electronics, it tends to kind of um, zap electronics, the yeah. blue belt does. Red light therapy is just fine, but the, the, blue, the blue belt, belt. is not. So Abby, I'm gonna let you tell everybody how to turn on the red light therapy, and then how to turn on the blue belt, and then we'll explain to them why the blue belt's so great. Okay, perfect. So um, you're just gonna walk back in here. And um, one thing that I like to do um, is I like to set up the blue belt first and then turn on the red light. So we're gonna come over here and the on button to the blue belt is just right here. Turns on, um, it, it lights up blue. And then right here, this is the levels. You've got a low, a medium, and a high. And most people who are trying it for new, you wanna start on low first. And then you come over here to the time and hit the plus sign. And automatically we'll do 30 minutes. You can't do less, but you can do more, but 30 minutes is just fine. Um, and then you'll just hit the start button like this and it'll start counting down and then you'll lay on it. But I'm gonna pause it and then turn it off because I don't wanna zap the microphone right now. Um, but it'll just run out um, of time. Um, but most of the time, if you're starting new with the blue belt, I usually will set my, my watch. I'll take it off and I'll set it right here. So let's say if I'm only going for five minutes, um, that way I know. But the cool thing with the red light therapy is you actually won't probably need to set your watch because you can go with the red lights. So you want to come over here. So after I, I get that set up, I actually don't hit start yet. What I'll do is I'll turn that on, get it set up. I'll come lay right here and right here on this box. Um, I don't know if you can see it very well but it goes one minute. I'll turn it on real fast, there we go. And it's got five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and then 30 minutes. So I'm just gonna hit like the five minutes real fast. So automatically we'll do that. So then I'll lay down on the red light bed um, and then I'll come over here and hit start on the blue belt. Because with the blue belt, it is an electrical current. Um, and so sometimes I've accidentally hit the screw on the light switch box for the red light and it, I get shocked. It's not too painful, it's, it's normal. Um, but if you want to avoid that, set the blue belt up, get on the red light, turn your red light on, and then start the blue belt. But the cool thing with this, like I said earlier, is this is one minute, five minutes, 10 minutes. So I had it set for five minutes. So if I'm laying in the bed and the light goes off, the blue belt's still going, but now I know I've been doing the blue belt for five minutes. So all I have to do is just reach my hand out of the curtain, turn it off, and then I can continue laying in the red light and reset the time. So you can still get that therapy, which Fantastic. is really awesome. Nice job. Abby, show us, we just turned the same button to turn it off, right? Yep, the same, same button. The big button on the bottom will turn it off faster or, um, right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it'll turn it off. It just turns <laughs> it off and makes it quick and easy. Good job. All right, so let's talk about the blue belt and the benefits of the blue belt. Yes, so the blue belt is awesome. It's really good for 
I guess speeding up the healing process. It yeah. is really good for hormonal imbalances. It's gonna help balance out your hormones. Um, it's also really good for your hair and your skin and your nails. It makes your nails grow stronger. Um, it's a, an electrical current, like I said earlier, but it hits you at a cellular level. So it's just realigning all the circuits in your body, basically. So it's just gonna help with that. Um, and it also creates negative ions. And so just laying in there, it just kind of helps calm you down, helps relax, get you in a nice zen mood. Um, yes. I usually always tend to fall asleep in the red light in the blue belt, just because the red light is very relaxing, I feel like. Mm -hmm. And with those negative ions with the blue belt, it just can knock me out. Yeah. <laughs> it's an absolutely incredible piece of therapy. And I um, personally use it just to help with some eczema. My yeah. son, after his cancer surgery, uh, was in a lot of pain. And this was the thing that we used to help his body to speed the healing process. It was absolutely amazing. I do love so many things about this. Let me grab my paper really quick. Let me make yeah. sure we're answering all the questions. One precaution or a couple precautions with the blue belt is if you've got any electrical device within your body, like a pacemaker, you don't want to use it because it has the potential to get zapped. Right. Um, you don't, if you're pregnant, um, you don't want to use it. It's not saying it's going to harm the baby, but it's as a precaution, just in case. It's just one of those things, you know, just try to be very careful with the most precious cargo you will ever carry. Mm -hmm. And so. then if you've had any recent um, organ transplants, um, like Elise said, this speeds up the healing process. And with most transplants, you want to keep your immune system low right. with the medications that they're taking to, so it doesn't reject the organ. So with this, it's going to speed up that process and potentially reject, reject the it. organ. So yeah. we really want to be, be careful with that. Okay, let's see. Um, will red light hurt my eyes? People it won't. Listen. It's actually really good. If it, the, it is kind of bright though, mm -hmm. so if it does bother you, we sell little um, tanning goggles in the vending machine that you can wear, or you can just close your eyes mm -hmm. while you're in there. That's what I tend to do. Yeah, it does make the world look a little green. It does. It does. <laughs> <laughs> but it does not hurt your eyes. Um, okay, a lot of people have heard that red light therapy helps with weight loss. Does so red light therapy help Yes with and weightless? no. Okay. So like I said earlier, red light therapy helps with inflammation mm -hmm. in the body. And inflammation, you know, holds onto water, all these other things. Um, so it can help with that, but it's not going to shed the pounds. So it's not going to take rid of, it's not going to get rid of the fat. Yeah. But it will get rid of the water weight. Mm -hmm. So if you're just trying to fit into that prom dress by, you know, Friday night, this might be a good thing to yeah. try out. But as far as a long-term solution to weight loss, mm -hmm. It's going to help tighten the skin. It's going to do some of those things, but it's not going to shed the fat. Yeah. The blue belt actually is more likely to, to help shed you do fat. that because it's going <laughs> to detox your body and really help your body release some of those things, mm -hmm. like the stuff that hides in cellulite. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, oh, skin exposure. We get a lot of people that ask about ex skin exposure because the more skin exposure that you have to red light, the better. But here at Awesome, we require everyone to stay fully clothed. So how do we handle that? Yes. So our theme here at Awesome is modest but comfortable. So a lot of people just come in like shorts um, and, or not short, shorts, shorts and a t-shirt um, and when you come in here they'll just close the curtains and you can close them really tight so no one can really see we also have these nifty little clips here so no one can really see in either um, and while you're in there you can roll your shorts up you can lift your shirt up so it's showing your belly um, some just people come in like a sports bra and shorts underneath some sweats yeah and you're welcome to do that take it off in there um, kind of like a, a precaution too is just like if someone were to actually were to see you are you comfortable wearing that like right. most likely it's going to be one of us walking through checking stuff so we're not peeking in on you no. but if it happens to <laughs> the curtain opens a little we don't want you to be embarrassed or us yeah all right um talked about the blue belt any precautions oh headaches or stomach aches after using the blue belt yes because we've had some people have it can that happen, happen. Um, so the blue belt is a really big detox at least kind of mentioned that earlier um, and so it's detoxing your gut it's going to help with acid reflux anything like that um, but because of that you're with the water retention things like that the detox is actually using that water to flush everything out get mm -hmm. all those toxins out so if you're not drinking enough water with it mm -hmm. um, that's when you start to get sick because it's starting to pull from the body or the water in your body instead mm -hmm. of the extra water that you're drinking on top of that right. so that's when you kind of start to get a headache or you start to kind of feel sick so you want to drink a lot of wa lot of water before you get on the blue belt and after and if you happen to get sick while using it that's okay um, you don't want to stop using it, keep using it, but just go for a lesser time or a lower level instead of maybe putting it on medium or high, put it down to the low for right. one or two visits um, until you kind of start feeling better. 
Um, but yeah. I always like to tell people, go to five minutes, go to 10 minutes, but what you don't want to do is just totally stop using it. If you need the benefits of the blue belt, um, it is best to just say, okay, I'm going to go at this progressively, slowly, because think of it this way. You know how when you go to a gym and you work out really hard and yeah. you hurt, if you don't keep going, you're just going to hurt every time you go. But if you, you know, it's Monday, you now hurt after your workout, well, you're going to need to go again Wednesday because if you wait again till Friday, you're going to hurt worse. Mm -hmm. So you do want to keep coming and using the blue belt just in maybe shorter or smaller increments. So, um, and then, yeah, that tummy ache or headache can happen. That That's a good gauge on pulling it back. Yeah. Um, and one thing with that too, just to don't know when to go up, just kind of yeah. gauge it by a week or just know your body. Like we, yeah. like we said, if you get a headache, go a little bit less. But if you feel like you can do a little bit more, go on like two minute increments or five minute increments. And once you feel like you can get to like the 30 minutes on the low setting, then move up to the second level and start over again. Do like five minutes, 10 minutes right. and work your way up. Absolutely, that's great advice. All right. I think we covered it all. I yes. hope so. All right. If you have any other questions, please talk to a lovely guest guide. Uh, see the instructions that are by every piece of equipment with a little more information. Scroll down on this website and see inf more information. Or we have books in the lounge that explain all of the science and all the in-depth stuff on all of this equipment. We hope you enjoyed this little visit that we had today and have an awesome visit. Mm -hmm.